Uh, yeah, if you can go on mute and get yourself a bit of a space on the mat or something. Cool. Um, so we're just going to start off the session uh, with a little bit of movement and then we'll get into a little bit of stretch. We're going to start off with inchworm into downward dog like we've done a couple of times. So shoes off. So if we go ahead and go forward, feet as close to the as we can. Let's slowly walk ourselves out to that push-up position. And then get a bit of stretch from the lower back. So we're going hips down, pop both arms out, and get a bit of movement side to side if you can. And then from there, we go onto the toes. And we're going to try and get hip to the shoulders, stretch, heels down if you can, the calves warm up a little bit. And then walk those hands in. Finish up, stand up. So we're going to go through that twice more, nice and slow. So walk back out into your inchworm. Hips down. Guys, yeah, just try and move the hips side to side, get the lower back moving a little bit. And then let's walk in. Hit the shoulders, heels down if you can, and hold it a little longer this time. Okay, good, walk in from there. Straight legs, and then let's do that one more time, nice and slow. So walking back out. Hips down. And up onto the toes. Walk in, let's get our head for our shoulder even more. Okay, and finish off there by walking all the way in. So at the top, nice and slow. Okay, next what we're going to do is going to be a squat hold, then we're going to look at some side squats um, before we get into holding stretches for a little bit longer. So we're going to go for a 40 second squat hold, okay, and what you're trying to think about going a little bit narrower than you normally would say in our workouts and stuff, so this is naturally where I want to go, I'm going to bring my feet in just a little bit, just going to be a bit tougher on the hips. And then let's go ahead and go down into our squat, guys, stay on the heels. Use it as a bit of movement as well if we need to, so if you're finding your calves are quite tight, you can drop over. So let's try and keep those heels flat on the floor. Okay, good, and then stand up and squat from there. 
And we're just going to open up the hips a little bit for the last bit of movement before we start holding the stretches. We're going to go for side squats. So a leg stance, and then all we're going to do is four each side, okay? Nice and slow, we're going to go all open up hips. So this heel comes up. And then we're going to go down by the bone, just hold it for a second down there, not bouncing out the squat. Stay down low. As low as you can. And then stand up from there. We're going to go three more on that side, okay? Taking it nice and slow. Down we go. Try and keep your chest up. Should be feeling it down inside of this leg on the doctors. Back up. Two more. Down we go. And up. Now let's go for one more down as low as you can. Back. Okay, let's go opposite side. Then we go on this side. Okay, that's done. Try and keep the heel that we're squatting on. We don't like another floor back then. Back up. Do two more. Nice and slow on the way down. Okay, back up guys, and we'll bend this last rep. Open up those hips, toes nice and high. Okay, back up, I'll just. Okay, right, and then come down onto our knees. We're going to go into our first stretch, we're going to hold. And it's going to be a foot to hand stretch, so we'll start off on the right side. Hands underneath the shoulders. And what we're going to do is bring the foot up towards the hand and then squeeze through this hip here, okay? So instead of thinking of pushing your hips forward on this one, let me think about squeezing through your toes and your knees to keep that, keep that hip under tension. And we're going to hold that for a minute. So push up. And let's go for it. So push through the toes, push through the hip. Towards the ground. Okay, good. From there, we're going to stick on this side and we're going to stand up in this position here so we get a stretch down this front hand train, okay? So this back heel, depending on your range, might not hit the floor, but we're trying to drive it down. Keep our chest down and feel it up this front hand train. We're going to hold that for another minute, guys. Hopefully, as we get into it, that back heel should be getting down towards the floor. Okay, good. And then last one on this side, we're going to bring this back knee down, under all the toes, and then we're going to get those hamstrings a little bit more by sitting back on this, or with your bum on your heel if you can, okay? If you need to use up your hands to keep a bit of pressure, then that's fine. If not, then sit back and we're trying to get your chest a little bit further forward, towards your shin.
And then if you can reach your toes or you can move them, then try and go in the way, hold it for a little second, out the way, try and get different, different angles on your muscles. Thirty seconds down to your left. Okay, come out of that nice and slow. And then we're going to repeat that on the opposite side, okay? So we're going to go right back to the foot to hand. So if you're following me, we're going to go left side this time. So up, foot comes up towards the hand as much as we can. We're going to squeeze through that hip for a minute. You know, there, trying to keep that tension to the front, front hip. Okay, and then back heel down as close to the as you can. We're going to go for a hamstring stretch in front here. Then you're really trying to get that back uh, heel down, keep this front leg straight. Good, and then drop this back knee down, uncurl the toes, and we're going to sit back, chest towards the shin for the last minute on this. And again, if you're feeling like you can change angle of toes. Okay, next, right. Up from there, try and just rest on your knees, give them a quick shake. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to go into a little bit of a longer pose. This one, we're going to go for pigeon stretch, and we're going to go two minutes per side. So we'll start off, follow me on right, right leg, and we're going to bring foot in front, keep that angle, so pin that foot down in the pan, and then try and sit into. Just a little bit. 
aim is to try and get our keeping this angle with the front leg, try to get your bun as close to the ground as you can on this. So don't worry if you have to bring your foot in to touch. Keep it out as much as you can. We've got one more minute in here and then we swap sides. And let's swap sides from there, so in nice and slow. And then we'll lift it out this time for our two minutes. That foot in place, and then chest in if we can. Thirty seconds left, guys. Okay, good, great. Up from there, nice and slow. Legs a bit of shake. And we're going to go into um, our longer one again. So we're going to go for forward fold. The last one on our lower body, which we've been working on. So legs nice and wide. Wide as you can. Start off with anyway. And we're going to hold this for three minutes, trying to get our chest down a little bit as we get into it. So if you can start out upright, even if you're going onto the elbows and then walking the hands out, just do it nice and slow and gradual for the 
three minutes. See if you can get a little bit further down to their elbows on the floor, chest forward a little bit. We're going to do one more minute. Okay, guys, ease out that nice and slow, so chest up, and take your time bringing the legs in. Get a little move about. Good. Um, okay, so we're going to come um, onto the knees, we're going to focus on the upper body a little bit more than the last couple. Um, we're going to look at wrists a little bit to start off with. So you get in this position here where toes are curled at the back. And we're sitting our bum back a little bit, so it's quite a good stretch for the bottom of your feet and your calves a little bit. They're quite tight, it might be very uncomfortable. You know? um, and then from there, we're going to ease that up a little bit and come forward so that the load of pressure is down onto our wrists here. And we're going to rock backwards and forwards nice and slow for about 30 40 seconds, getting as much pressure through the wrist as still allowed. And our elbows should be totally locked out. And then a couple more. As we come forward now, when you do it, one at a time, left side first, lift your palm up to the right, then come down, then opposite side, so it's a little bit of pressure to the front. The wrist. And we're just coming onto the fingertips. We'll keep that pressure forward, we'll do that a couple more times. And then we're going to ease that off and turn to the run back of the hands. Ideally, we're looking to have fingertips facing the knees, but if it's a bit too much pressure, we can go a bit more like this position here. But ideally, we're going to be straight down. And we're going to try and get in fully locked out arms and pressure over the front here as well. Okay, so if you're feeling that in your forearms, 
or if it's too hard to lock the arms and the out, then we should be doing this stuff pretty regularly. And then just try and get a bit of movement around the wrists as well, so wherever it feels a little bit more comfortable. So forwards and backwards, try and go side to side as well for about 30 seconds. And make sure we're punching those elbows straight. Then what I want you to do now is keeping the wrist down, put a bend in your elbow, so we're doing the opposite of what we've done on the front of our wrist. So we're coming onto our knuckles, keeping that pressure over the top of the wrist. Thanks guys, these are clear. Give them a bit of movement. Good. Okay, and then we're just gonna have a look at the shoulder a little bit for our last one. And um, so we are gonna come into this position here. We'll go right hand through our body to start off with. And then I want you to put this hand over the forearm and get as much pressure over the front of the shoulder as you can. Head towards the ground. Keep this arm in place. Take the knees up there, we're going to hold the other side for a minute as well. So arm underneath all the way through, pin it down, and then get as much weight over the front of that shoulder as we can. We'll take these up there and slow. The arm a bit of shape, and that is us for today. Well done, everybody.